Hi. Today I will tell you about Axolo and how we improve developer experience with streamlined code reviews. First of all, uh, when I usually make this presentation to companies, I ask themselves, what problems are you facing in your code reviews? The top three problems that people are sharing with me are those one. Delayed code reviews, um, the cycle time, and especially the pickup time of a pull request can be very long sometimes up to a few days and even more. Um, and the quality of the, of the review can get impacted uh, because of this, because suddenly you need to have a review super fast because you need to merge that pull request to have this feature uh, facing your customers. And uh, the quality gets impacted because uh, you lack time. The notification overload and disruptions. So usually companies, they have their own uh, kind of notification system. They have maybe like a general channel with uh, everybody's pull request. And because there's too many notifications, I either get disrupted and I cannot focus on my work or I start uh, silencing those, uh, muting those channels and I don't see them anymore. And last but not least, uh, siloed knowledge. A lot of uh, pull request conversations happen in Slack um, and not on GitHub because it's easier to talk on Slack and people are used to talk on Slack. And all that uh, direct messages are not recorded anywhere. Or even if it happens in channels, uh, it's super hard to go back uh, to a pull request conversations that happened in Slack. Um, so usually we find that uh, high performing teams are facing these issues. A uh, team where engineers create at least more than three pull requests per week, sometimes up to once or two or three per day, they are the most affected by these problems. So um, how does Axolo work? Uh, for every pull request, we create one Slack channel. The whole conversation that happens in Slack is saved in GitHub or in GitLab. And, um, Whenever you merge or you close the pull request, um, the channel gets auto-archived. So this is a small representation of how we do things and uh, how things were done before Axolo. So you usually have like a, a GitHub bot channel uh, that posts all the, the new pull requests um, and all the informations. So the, whether there's an update, um, sometimes you have uh, friends or colleague um, writing you indirect messages um, telling you like hey have you had time to look at this pull request you also have team channels um, the github bot can also send you tm and you have jira or linear um, that also sends you messages with with axolo we want to make everything into one channel for every pull request so that uh, you know what to focus on and everything is in one place. So I will, I will show you in a demo how does this looks like. Let's make a demo now. All right, I've prepared a, a pull request, but I will show you how our Slack looks like uh, first. So let's look at Axolo General. So Axolo General is a, um, is a channel we recommend to have per team. Um, so we call it Axolo General for our whole team because our team is, is a few people. Um, so what can we see here? Um, there's a, a few notifications. So I can see that it's right, that is the notification has been written on my name. So I don't get notified for my own activity. Um, we can see uh, that I've opened a, a pull request. I can add the link to the GitHub uh, uh, link, uh, so I can click directly here and, whoops, um, and see uh, and see the GitHub uh, directly. Um, I have a link to the channel, so I can jump on the channel, uh, and then I, I see a few things. So I see the author, the status. We have different status, as you can see up there. So the colors will change depending on the status. And I can see I'm still waiting on the review from Arthur. Um, whenever this uh, review will be approved, uh, the notification will change and the status will probably change and uh, it'll be changed to like uh, ready to, to merge. 
and the emoji will change with the thumbs up. And we can see here there's a, a small magnifier. Um, if I see that Arthur has created a pull request and there's no reviewer, I can click on the magnifier and this will add me in the channel and it will add me as a reviewer in GitHub. So now um, let's create a, a new pull request and see how that works. So I've prepared my pull request. I'm updating some code. I'm going to go ahead and create it. We have some automation set up so the viewers is automatically added. Um, and um, we can see a few things. So first of all, there's a new notification that happened here. Um, there's a channel that has been created. So we can see the bookmarks uh, are the same bookmarks as we see here. They get updated along the way. So whenever the checks passed, um, this uh, bookmark will be edited. And uh, now let's make some comments. So I'm going to make a comment from GitHub. And I can see that it's happening here. I can edit uh, from Slack and it will edit the comment in GitHub. We can see that here. And now let's, um, oh yeah, I, ca I can also write from Slack and it will write on GitHub on my behalf. Uh, so the nice thing with GitHub is that it shows that you've been impersonated by Axolo, uh, but it still shows as your name. Um, and you can edit uh, from GitHub and in Slack, etc. Uh, so now let's make a, a code comment. Code comment from GitHub. So I can see the code comment has appeared here in Slack. Uh, we can open the code comment directly with the link here. We can see which file it it relates to which line number and it will tag um, the author of the pull request uh, so that it gets uh, notified uh, of this comment. So I'm gonna make a, a code comment thread from here and this will appear here. For some actions I need to refresh um, GitHub there we go. Um, so that's it. Now I can resolve the conversation. Let's say I've, I've changed my code because somebody asked me to. I can resolve it. Um, and there will be an emoji uh, written on my behalf that this has been re um, resolved. So now I'm, I'm happy with the changes. Let's say I'm going to merge. Um, I'm not going to merge because I don't want to merge this. I'm just going to close it for now but you get the idea. I'm going to close it and the channel gets auto archived. I can go back to the Axolo general channel and um, this will be updated. There we go. So now we can see that status has been closed. Uh, we can see the viewers. It was me, but uh, you get the idea and that's it. Um, we can go to this channel and look like look how the checks looks like when they pass. So this is how it looks like. So it's pretty simple, um, and it's very efficient. Some teams uh, that use Slack a lot really love Axolo. Uh, usually, people who don't like Axolo too much are people who uh, have their emails very well set up or are not used to talk in Slack. But apart from them, usually Axolo is very well received. So now I want to show you how does the Axolo settings looks like for every engineer. We have something called time slots. <coughs> so the time slots allow you to set up a time where you will be invited in new channels. So for example, myself, I'm very focused in the mornings. I like to do code reviews in the afternoon. I can set up my time slots to be in the afternoon so that whenever, for example, Arthur will create a pull request and invite me as a reviewer, reviewer it will tell him Sydney will be invited in the channel at two o'clock and he can expect the, the review to be at two o'clock. Um, you can pause Axolo if you're going on a holiday or 
if uh, you don't like having uh, too many uh, channels, uh, you can pause it and it will work for the rest of the team like it's supposed to, but you won't get invited. So um, you, can, you can do that. And then uh, we ask uh, every engineer to sign in with their GitHub and Slack account so that we can write on their behalf whenever they do an action on GitHub or Slack uh, to have the two-way sync. And then uh, we can see the current pull request or the pending pull request, other pull requests, the one that are waiting my review, etc. Okay, um, now let's look at uh, the different settings that you have as, a, as an Axolo admin. So um, there's the reminders. You can set up reminders to be sent uh, once a day. Um, I actually have another uh, workspace so that I can show you how it looks like. Um, so this has been a, a lot of reminders, but the idea is that uh, we, t we send a different message every day and we try to name the people that need an action. So for example, this pull request has been awaiting a review and there's been three reviewers. Uh, so it's gonna say Sydney Arthur, uh, four reviewers actually, and it's gonna tell us like, hey, uh, these persons need to do a review uh, and I can snooze um, the alert. So let's say if I know the pull request I, is not um, to be reviewed right now for the next two weeks, I can uh, say snooze, I'm, I can choose a number of days and I'm gonna snooze it. Um, so that's it for the reminders. You can, uh, there's a bunch of settings, but let's just go through uh, the most important one. Um, you can customize the pull request channel title with a bunch of variables. Uh, this is really usually highly appreciated. You can enable bots to comment review or create pull requests. So I can choose one of those uh, bots to, uh, whenever something happens on GitHub, to be sending messages on Slack. Uh, we have some special workflows. So for example, um, as a reviewer, if I approve a pull request, I can leave a channel automatically. Uh, we can decide also to archive channels uh, not immediately, but a few hours or a few days after um, it's been closed or merged. All right, so the, the team channel. So this is where you can decide to have a channel per team. Uh, for example, I can have one of those teams uh, to have a channel whenever there's a new pull request like we saw in the Axolot general. And the standups. So the standups those are notifications, uh, let me show you. Like uh, this one, for example, uh, you can have uh, a summary of all the current pull requests that are sent on a daily basis. Uh, you can have them sent to a channel or to, to yourself. Um, this is highly customizable. And that's it. Um, then you have a, a view of the current pull request for example, when you um, just set up Axolo, you can create some channels for existing pull requests. And then you have a team view where you can onboard or forward people of Axolo. Okay. Um, that's pretty much it for the demo. Now I can switch to um, how you can make the best of Axolo. So we have some um, documentation on how to make the best of Axolo. And um, there's a few things we recommend. So first of all, read the documentation. It's uh, well, it's, it's well uh, documented. But uh, the few things that we recommend to do is um, doing the onboarding, you will receive a notification as an engineer and um, we ask you to sign in with Slack and GitHub. And those are all the reason we ask you to, is because mostly we can act on your behalf and you can lower the number of notifications that you will receive. And there's a bunch of features that uh, you can get access to um, if, you, if you do that. So this is how you do it, I showed you earlier. Um, then we recommend to set up your notifications to direct message and mentions only, so that you don't get um, those hard notifications on your desktop every time something is happening. 
I think this is mostly a productivity height, but this is a recommendation that we have. Um, then uh, we have uh, sections in Slack, and these are channel sections that uh, Slack has, and all the newly created channels go in there. Um, Slack doesn't have an API for sections as of today, uh, so we don't have control over this as Axel. But what we recommend you to do is have all the channels uh, that you currently have into separate sections so that all the Axolo channels get put into the channel section. <coughs> the time slots, I showed you that earlier. Uh, the pause button if you're um, going on holiday. And that's it. Um, yeah, thank you, thank you for your time. And uh, let us know if you have any questions in the, in the comment section.